Hello there, welcome to another edition of our uh, F-Sharp tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at PrintFN. Now, um, PrintFN is a, a way or a method uh, in order to output something uh, to the console in this case. Um, if you've done this in C++ or anything similar then feel free to skip the tutorial but uh, for the purposes of the F# -sharp course uh, we're going to be using print f and print fn quite a lot now so uh, it's quite a useful prerequisite uh, for your knowledge on this uh, F# -sharp course so um what uh, print fn does uh, it enables us to output of uh, the value of uh, a value um, and uh, display it to the user. So uh, if we comment this uh, line out here, this is what we have before uh, console right line hello world, and just uh, ensure we're outputting that. There we go. So what we're looking at now is an old alternate way on how to uh, output something to the console. So let's step through this. Uh, we've done this before in our values tutorial. We uh, let the hello world value uh, and give it the value hello world. And because we've put it in quotation marks, uh, it's a string. Uh, so when we come to the uh, object print fn, it takes in either one string we can either give it hello world or we can give it a uh, value here percentage s alongside our value now let's just test this for a second we're outputting exactly the same result but let's have a look how this works now percentage s is something uh, print fn uses to uh, match up the types and uh, display them uh, accordingly. Percentage S is a string as far as printfn is concerned. I've uh, took the liberty of providing a key here in this tutorial so um, it's quite useful as a point of reference to determine uh, which signs uh, present, uh, well correlate with which values. So if we highlight hello world we can see it's a type string so when we look at strings, uh, an example is hello world, how are you, anything in these quotation marks. So this is percentage %s. So we give print fn percentage %s. And we put this in quotation marks. Uh, then we separate it with a white space and put in um, whichever value correlates to that. Uh, if hello world was an integer, for example, 5, then we may get an error here saying the expression has type int but is used with type string. It's used with type string because we've got percentage s here. Integers, we can use 2, 5, 6, 467, whichever number you want really, as long as it's in the boundary of an integer. Uh, so we can use d, i, o, u, or x. So uh, usually we use uh, d, but i, it doesn't really matter. So if we put d there, it's recognized that as an integer and because hello world is 5 we've thrown no errors and we should be able to output it as normal there we go so uh, if we change hello world to say 5.7 we're going to get another error float is incompatible and floats we can use E, F or G I usually use F it's just F for float quite easy to remember and that should allow us to output 5.7 and there we go, it's not rounded it off, uh, it's rounded off to six decimal places. But you can change this using the uh, uh, math namespace, which I mentioned briefly in an earlier tutorial. So if we wish to expand on this, we'll call a, a value hello world message. Hello world. Uh, I'd like to say hello world and we'll initialize a random number to 
five or something like this. Now in our message here, we can actually uh, bring in a combination of two things. This one's an integer, and this one is a string. So if we wish to output both of them in the same message, we could say, hello world message is a string. So this coincides with this percentage s here. Then we would like to say the number as well. So we can use i and put the word times after it. Number coincides to the i here. So if we just run this a second, I'll explain it thoroughly in a second. I'd like to say hello world five times. So what this does, we have a string here. I'd like to say hello world is this value, hello world message. Uh, we've set a number as five, uh, which we're inputting here. And the integer is five. And times is something we're appending onto the end of the message. So if you think of these as placeholders for these here, the order is necessary because the first occurrence of a percentage placeholder takes the first value successively after the message. So the first percentage will be this one, the second percentage will be this one, and times is an extra string. It's not a placeholder, so there's no need for another variable. So um, this is what printfn does. And uh, it's quite useful because we're going to use it in a later tutorial. There is also printf, which is uh, almost identical to printfn, apart from it doesn't skip to a new line. Similar to console.write and console.write line. Uh, very similar. So uh, this is printf and printfn. Um, you can find these in the uh, library microsoft.fsharp.core dot pervasives or pervasives whichever you prefer and that's where they're located if you uh, have a look inside this library there might be some other useful things you can use sequences sets uh, and various other methods of uh, outputting or representing uh, some sort of string or function so um, that is printf and printfn uh, I'm Sean Grizzly. thank you for listening